Hi everyone, so I'm going to do a Lush review. I'm going to review two products that I've already used from my big haul last week. Three products, actually. Yeah, three. Um, so I decided people were asking me to do reviews on different products, so I just thought I would do one every single week after I use the stuff. And I usually keep my Lush stuff to the weekend, so I'm not going to go through it too quickly. These reviews will last me a long time. So the first thing I'm going to review is my Pop in the Bath Bubble Bar, which I used last week. As you can see, I really did not need to use a lot of this. Um, I mean, that's not even... That doesn't even look like it would be near a quarter of it. I really, really do not need a lot of this. Um, it made the water really, like, soft. It made my the bubbles really foamy. It made my skin lovely and soft. Oh, the smell of this. I absolutely love it. It's like a really refreshing, clean kind of smell. I'm just looking at the Lush Times, and it says it's... Lemon, mandarin, bergamot. So, yep, mandarin, orange. It's just a really fresh smell. <sighs> I think it's just amazing. Um, it actually says here that it was inspired by Mary Poppins because she puts everyone around her at ease, and that's the aim of this one. So you can kind of imagine how such like a calming, refreshing smell it is. And the bubbles really were, they made my skin like really soft and like really moisturised. Um, these come in all different colours. They come in like white, blue, I think you can get them in pink. Am I making that up? I think my mum had a green one. But I really wanted a blue one to see if it turned my water a different colour and it did. When I crumbled a bit of this in, the water underneath where the bath water was running went like a blue colour. Except the bath bomb I used went like a yellow colour, so together it was like a weird green, so it wasn't that nice a colour. But I think it's cool that this does actually change your water. A lot of bubble bars don't really change the colour of your water. So, really impressed with this. This costs um, £2.61 in the UK. I don't know what it costs in dollars, but I definitely recommend this. It's really good. It smells, oh, it smells so good. And yeah, definitely like this. I would definitely buy this one again. So that was that. The next product that I'm going to review is the Happy Pill Bath Bomb, which I use, so obviously I don't have it. It's this one here. I don't know if you remember this from last week. It was like the big, round, flat one. And half of it was orange, half of it's yellow. The orange side of it smells exactly the same as Pop in the Bath, so they were perfect to use together. So the bathroom just smelled of this really nice, calming, lemony fresh smell. Oh, I can't stop smelling that. Um, so Happy Pill says here it's got grapefruit, bergamot and mandarin oil so definitely has a lot of the same ingredients as Pop in the Bath. It's £2.86 which I think for the size of it is a really good price. Um, it took ages to dissolve in my bath, like far longer than any others. Um, ingredients says citric acid Grapefruit oil, frankincense oil, orange flower, mandarin oil. It's got lots of really gardenia extracts. If you know what those all smell like, you can kind of imagine what it smells like. It's just really nice. It did actually turn my water like a pale yellowy colour. I thought it would go orange, but it didn't. So combined with the blue of this, it kind of went a weird green. But never mind, doesn't matter what colour it goes. So I'm definitely impressed with the Happy Pill. I would definitely buy it again. It's a nice bath for just like a refreshing, soothing, kind of nice smell. So the next thing I'm going to review is Angels on Bare Skin. And I got a sample of the cleanser. You probably remember this from the look of it. It looks disgusting. This is it here. Looks like a wee brain or something. It's gross looking. Um... Ugh, smells weird. So what you do with this is you get a little bit of it, like really little, and you use it, put it in your hand, press it down, make a kind of a paste, add a bit of water, and then just put it all over your face. Um, when you're using it, you don't smell that smell as strong as that. That I don't know what that is. It stinks, though. You don't get that horrible smell when you're actually using it. Um, 
At first, I really, really liked Angels on Bare Skin. However, after using it twice, I broke out my skin here and here. And I don't know if that was it. I looked in the website and a couple of the reviews said it made people break out. So it might have been this. So I'm kind of not sure whether I want to try it again. Um, I'll wait until my skin clears up and then I'll try it. And if I break it again, then don't like this. So, yeah. I'm just going to try and find it in the Lush Times to tell you what's in it. There it is. Okay, so they say it's got... Exfoliating ground almonds, lavender, rose, chamomile oil, chamomile oil, lavender flowers. I really don't know what that smell is. It doesn't smell of lavender to me. It doesn't smell of almonds. I do not know. Let's see a picture of it. And this costs five forty two for the little tubs of them. Um, so I'm really glad I asked for a sample of this and didn't get like a tub of it because I'm really not sure what I think. Looks like Play-Doh. I kind of want to play with it. Oh, let my fingers stink. So I will definitely use this again and let you know if my skin does break out again because I don't have sensitive skin. Um, it's not as though a lot of things make me break out. Very few things make me break out. So I'll use this again and if I get more breakouts then I'll let you know. So those were the three things that I've reviewed. I had a couple of face masks so I might do a review on them next and then I'm going to have a Lush bath today and then I'll re review everything I use today tomorrow if that makes any sense. Um, so also let me know what you think of this kind of setup. I got a really bored sitting where I was and so I'm just sitting on the floor. So um, uh, let me know what you thought and I'll see you soon. Bye!